To set up multiple locations in your Wendell Work account, go first to the Schedules section to look at your positions. From the Positions drop-down menu, you can see a list of your positions, or you can click Add Edit Positions. Ordinarily, one might create positions for cashier, driver, whatever the job it is that a person's doing. But, if you're scheduling multiple locations, Wendell Work recommends that you add the location name and the name of the job into your position title. This will make it easier for you to organize your more complex account. When you're finished, click Close. Come back to the Positions menu and now choose Select Group Positions. The Position Groups window will allow you to create groups of positions so that you can filter your schedule view or your employee list or a report to show only those shifts and employees associated with a particular group of positions. So this can be very helpful if you gather all of the positions for a particular location and name them for that location. Click Save. And now you have a filter that allows you to see only your east side shifts. You can easily come back up to the positions filter to choose your other locations, north side shifts and south side shifts. And you come right back up to all positions to see everyone together. It can also be useful to go into the position groups window and create position groups for just a particular kind of job. For example, if you want to be able to see your cashier schedule, you can create a group for cashiers. Simply collect all the cashiers at all of your different locations and create a group to view them together. Now you can see all of your cashier shifts across all of the locations. And of course, you can always show just one location's cashiers by simply going to that position. Position grouping allows you to have maximum flexibility for viewing your schedules and seeing just the kinds of workers or the locations you need to see. If you go to your employees list, you'll see that you can also filter your employee list based on what kinds of positions your employee is able to work or which employees are at a specific location. You can manage which locations your employees are able to work on the positions grid. Again, the filter will show just the specific positions you have selected. These position filters are very handy, especially because in your combined account, you cannot limit your managers to manage only specific employees. Any manager with access to this account and the proper permissions can approve time off, approve trades, and edit employees across the entire account. However, by using the positions filter, your managers can filter their view to just the locations where they have authority. This will help prevent them from making mistakes and accidentally interfering with a different location. This becomes important when managers are importing schedules. If you go to the scheduling and move to an unpublished week, you'll see that if a manager has filtered the view to just their location, when they go to import a schedule, they'll have the option of importing a schedule or a template for just the positions they manage or for all of the positions. Instruct your managers to limit themselves to their own position group, and then they can import their schedule and templates and manage all of the scheduling without impacting anyone else's schedule. This also works on autofill. If they click autofill, they'll see that they can autofill just shifts in their own positions or all shifts. If they leave it in their own position, they can safely autofill without impacting any of the schedules for any of the other locations. This will also work for the Clear Delete feature. Once again, they'll be able to limit any deletion of shifts to just their own location. Note that this will not, however, impact publishing. 
If your manager goes to publish the schedule, the entire schedule will be published. There's no way to publish only a portion of the schedule week. An Eastside manager publishing the schedule will be publishing the schedule for Eastside, Northside, and Southside. All locations are published together. So make sure that your managers are aware of this, and make sure that they're coordinating their publication times. If necessary, one manager can publish the schedule, and then another manager can go ahead and unpublish it temporarily, so that they can import their own shifts and take care of their scheduling needs, and then again publish it when they're ready. Publishing and unpublishing will not damage your account data in any way. Although, while the schedule is unpublished, it will be temporarily invisible to your employees.